Don't mind me, I'm just putting a magic sum into my little calculator here. In fact, if you want to try this magic sum yourself, the numbers you've got to put in are all going up the side here. You've got to put the numbers in exactly as you see them there. And then, at the end, hopefully you'll get what I get. I've got two more divided by one. Okay, equals. And that's the answer. Can you see that? Now you might think that's not very special. But what's good is if I turn it upside down, it says, hello, can you see that? <laughs> Where are we? There we are. I love that little trick. I like that trick so much that the first time I wrote a murderous mass book over 20 years ago, this is it. I put that trick into this book and this book is still selling all over the world. So other people like that trick too. So what I'm going to show you now is one or two more calculator tricks and these ones are called Beat the Calculator. Now normally I would do this on a stage. I'd give somebody a calculator and I'd do these amazing sums in my head and I can do it faster than they can pushing the buttons. So that's good fun. But the other thing is that when I'm on a stage I get people to choose their numbers. Unfortunately, I haven't got a stage here. So to choose my numbers I'm going to use my old friend the pack of cards. I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards here. And if I haven't shuffled them up, let's have a little look. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, one. That joker there is a zero. So I'm going to pick numbers by picking cards. What you're going to see, there's no cheating. You can try it yourself with the calculator, you can check it. More importantly, you can learn to do these tricks and try it on somebody and really amaze them. Okay, I hope you like them. For the first trick, I asked people to give me three numbers between one all the way around to could be zero, okay? Although I don't like them to pick zero first. I get a bit grumpy if they do that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to shuffle these all up a little bit so I don't know what order they're in. Mess, mess, mess lights like that. <laughs> and we're going to pick three cards at random. Okay, so what shall we have? We'll have that one. Six, that's a good start. We'll have that one. Seven and... Three. So the number that we have picked there with the cards is 673. I'm just going to write that down on a piece of paper. Okay, 673. I've got no control. I didn't know what number was going to come. But what I'm going to do is an amazing sum. Now, in me head, I'm going to take that number 673 and I'm going to multiply it by 7 and then by 11, and then by 13, and write down the answer. In fact, look, I've got a blank piece of paper here. I'm going to write down the answer, but I'm going to be really mean. I'm going to write it down where you can't see it. <laughs> it's not mean. You're busy watching my video, and I'm not showing you the answer. But I will, I will. Right, that's the bit of paper. The answer's written there. You can just see the edge of the answer. So I'm not being cheating. Right, we get the cal oh look the calculator. Oh look, it's still saying hello. <laughs> what a shame. I'll tell you what I can say goodbye now. Where are we? Bing, that's it, goodbye. Okay, we do these sums. Hope you can see the calculator screen now, okay? Can you see that? Yeah. We put in it six seven three times seven times eleven times thirteen. And there's the answer. Six seven three six seven three. And no big surprise, I wrote the answer down. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's really simple. I just wrote that number out twice. And the answer is, I did. In fact, the only hard part about this trick is remembering those numbers, 7, 11, and 13. And it works with any three-digit number. So if I put those away, let's get the cards to give us three more numbers. Okay, I think they're all quite well shuffled up. Let's see what we get. Let's go there. Nine. Ooh, big start. One. Ace is one and three. Nine one three times seven times eleven times thirteen. Let's see what we get. Push the cancel button there. Nine one three times seven times eleven times thirteen. Yay! Nine one three nine one three. It always works. All you need to remember is times seven times eleven times thirteen. And that's your first beat the calculator trick. For the second trick, I want a two-digit number, anything between 10 and 99. So we'll have that one. There's a seven. And uh, let's pick the one at the bottom, shall we? Let's have a little look. Oh, it's the Joker. So that counts as zero. We're going to use the number 70. Yeah. Put those over there. And I'm going to multiply 70. 
look at this. In my head, by three, by seven, <laughs> by 13, and then get this, by 37. Yep, I'm going to do that in my head. I'm going to write the answer down now on this piece of paper, but you're not going to be able to see it. But can you guess what I'm writing down? What do you think I might be writing down? <laughs> I'll show you in a second. That's that over there. Right, we'll have a look on the calculator, see what we get. Start off with the 70. So it's 70 times 3 times 7 times 13 times 37. 37 is a weird number. Let's see what we get. And look at that. 70, 70, 70. Of course, that's what I wrote down. You get any two-digit number, multiply it by 3, 7, 13 and 37, and you get the same number three times. Finally, for the third trick, I don't want anybody to pick one, and I don't want them to pick zero either, so I'm going to put those away over there. But this trick only needs one number. And this is really, it's a bit silly actually, but it's good, you've got to see it. So let's just pick one of these, which one? Let's pick that one that's hiding down there. And it's the five. Okay, we're going to get five. We're going to multiply five by all these numbers, right? All of them. Let's get the calculator. <laughs> see if you can, can you guess what's going to happen? Can you guess? Let's have a little see. There's five. Five times three times seven times 11 times 13 times 37. Are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Get one number, multiply it by three, seven, 11, 13, and 37, and you get the same number written out six times. That's your three tricks. I hope you like them. I hope you have fun with them. Okay, stay safe and have fun. Bye-bye.